Red Bull have had details of their new 2023 car leaked just weeks ahead of launch. Red Bull will reportedly run a new lighter chassis in 2023 despite Christian Horner's protestations the team were not working on changes. Italian newspaper La Gazzetta dello Sport has reported the car could be up to 3 kilograms lighter than last year's championship winning machine. Rumors emerged that a lighter chassis was in development last year for the second half of 2022. In August, German media Auto Motor und Sport claimed the team had undergone crash tests for their new components. They even suggested the tool could be installed ahead of the final six races of the season. Max Verstappen even let the development slip after securing victory at the Belgian Grand Prix but didn't know how much weight would be shed. However, the team didn't press ahead with their plans as Verstappen enjoyed a comfortable lead in the Drivers' Championship. Red Bull boss Christian Horner even denied the team were looking at changes after another win in Italy. He told Sky Sports F1, Well I don't know where these rumors permeate from. But no, there's no plans to introduce a lighter chassis. So you know, we keep going. We're in good shape. Red Bull chief Helmut Marko had complained about weight issues early last season after reports their car was around 10 kilograms heavier than their rivals. He recently hinted weight problems were one of the biggest issues of the season and tipped a solution could soon be developed. Marko added, the main problem was being overweight. We're still a little over it now. Maybe not for much longer. The Italian media has also said Red Bull's new car will include an updated gearbox. They reveal the component will present a lower narrowing as a result of moving the suspension elements. The design is believed to be similar to the 2022 car but is touted to offer a radical evolution from their last machine. However, Red Bull will not be able to perfect any upgrades to their 2023 package due to their reduction in wind tunnel development. The team has just 63% of their full allowance due to their budget cap penalty and for winning the championship. Marco has warned of the potential impacts but stressed much of the work had already been finalized. He commented, we are of course sitting with this reduction of hours in the wind tunnel. That means we have to work very efficiently as a team. All the things we try out have to hit the mark immediately. But fortunately the technical changes for next year are not that big. It means we have a good basic package.